Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to be starting a new vlog as well as doing an unboxing. So I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of a shorter weekend vlog, so I'll probably wrap it up on Monday, but we'll see how how it goes and how I am feeling. I am still reading Annette for Small Fishes by Lucy Jago. I'm really enjoying it. I'm moving through it quite slowly, but I don't mind. It's um, it's not that it's not gripping. I just don't think right now I have the mental capacity to like sit and just go through a book. It's very gripping. I have a feeling when stuff goes bad, it's gonna go really very bad and quickly. Um, most recently, what I read very much so hints that that's about to happen. Um, so I'm nervous. <laughs> I am nervous. As well as that, I am reading The Dutch House by Anne Patchett. I'm listening to that on audiobook. It's pretty good so far. It's very different. It's... I definitely have no idea, like, what's really gonna happen or anything like that. I haven't read any of Anne's work before, so this is a first. But anyway, for unboxing, I got some books in for my birthday. You know, with the pandemic, with sh stores being closed and everything, it's more or less easier for... Um, me just to order stuff online as it is so I got in an order I've been waiting on um, since my birthday and I'm very very excited for it um, yeah I've been, I've been it's right here to the side and I am very ready I've opened the box um, because I didn't want you guys to have to suffer through five minutes of me uh, worrying about tape um, or me editing that out <laughs> so I opened the box and I can see but I have not taken out the stuff so I'm very very excited. Anyway for the books that I got I will actually finish start or finish. I'll finish with that because I know what that is and I'm excited. So the first book I'm gonna show is Conan Doyle for the defense. This is a non-fiction by um Margaret Fox. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Um, it's basically about Conan Doyle after he wrote the Sherlock Holmes and he gets called in to help with a case and potentially, I believe, clearing someone's name? Maybe. Um, and it's apparently throughout it he has to really use Sherlock-esque tactics and kind of becomes the real life Sherlock. So I'm just seeing it's got pictures throughout. It's, how long is it? It's about 250, almost 260 pages. Yeah. Um, so it should be a fairly quick read as well, but I'm trying to read more nonfiction, but I'm also really trying to find, like, where my interest lies with that. Um, because I know, like, it would need to have me very intrigued, and this just sounds so interesting, so I'm really, really excited for this one. The next one... I'm so excited about. This is a very recent release and they have it upside down which is good because that kind of, you know, um, adds suspense. This is one, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> I wanted to read this in April but I already have like some big books on my TBR. Oh no. <laughs> I love big books though so it's okay. Um, this book I stumbled across while I was shopping on Waterstones and it was published on, what was it, the 18th of February, something like that. And it is Daughters of the Night by Laura Shepard Robinson. And it sounds so good, you guys. It sounds so good. Oh yeah, that's, it's about 570 pages-ish, roughly. So for the synopsis, what it's about, wow, that, sorry, hold on, that cover is like more beautiful than I thought, like I already thought the cover was stunning, but the fact that it's got like this shiny against the matte really just elevates it. I love a good cover. I really love it. Oh my god, the end papers. Oh, damn. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Look at that. Like, look at that beauty. That is just absolutely stunning. I did not know it was like that. That's gorgeous. Like, that could be... Like, I would have that hanging on my wall. Okay, what the book's about. So, the book is set in London in 1782. Basically, I'm not... Because I know not everyone loves, like, a full synopsis. But basically, from what I remember what it's about, is this woman stumbles upon um, her friend who is... Or another woman who is, like fatally wounded and her last words 
send a chill through this other woman to the point where she knows her murder needs to be solved because maybe secrets are being leaked out. And the police are involved and care about solving the murder until they discover that um, this woman who was murdered was a highly paid prostitute and then they stop caring. But our main protagonist doesn't and she will not rest until she has the murder solved. So I'm very interested in this. I'm trying to get more into the mystery genre. Like I don't I don't read like horror or thriller, but I used to love mystery as a child and I've loved reading Sherlock, so I am trying to see how much I like mystery, but the fact that this is um, historical fiction, like I, I think it would be really like historical mystery I would really, really enjoy. So that is The Daughters of the Night. Now, lastly, I did, I ordered four books, but one of them's on pre-order. It's coming out on April 29th. Can we take a guess? It's Ariadne. Um, I pre-ordered the hardcover because it's stunning. Like, the arc is stunning as well, but I just, that book's meant that much to me. I just really want to have it in its completed form as well. Uh, so I've pre-ordered that. So the last book for now, I'm so excited to see this. <laughs> I heard about this book from Simon Savage of Savage Reads. He was talking about, oh my goodness, which video was it? It was either like his, one of his book hauls or to be read or, I don't know, I think it was a book haul. I'm pretty sure it was a book haul and he was showing like the books he'd gotten in March and this is one of them and it's, it's gorgeous guys. It's so gorgeous. It is... Oh my god, it is The Lamplighters by Emma Stonex. It is a debut, I believe, but the, the, the sprayed edges match the cover and like, oh my god, and the, the gold flex, like the foiling is very textured so it feels like flex of gold, if that makes sense. Um, so it is just, wow, they, they, they did this. They really, they did it right. Oh, good grief. Look at that spine. Don't know if you can see it. Again, learning with the camera, but uh, that's gorgeous. So basically, this one is set in 1972. It is like another kind of murder mystery. There are three or four, three um, lighthouse keepers who mysteriously disappear one night um, in the 70s. Yeah, in the 70s. So it's very mysterious. The door of the lighthouse was locked. The head lighthouse keeper's journal said that it had been a really stormy day or week, but the forecast shows it was actually totally fine. So they don't know what happened. Years later, the women of their lives still have no idea what happened, still have no closure. And when something that maybe should have or could have brought them together actually tore these women apart and people start asking questions and stuff starts getting, you know, discovered and dug up and that's kind of more or less the direction the story takes as far as I know. So I'm so excited for this. This is so pretty. And this, this one's a bit smaller than I thought it would be. So that's a full circle balance, isn't it? So it's 350, yeah, just over 350 pages. Um, so, you know, just 200 pages shorter than Daughters of the Night. <laughs> um, I might have to really change around my TBR now because I really want to read that one. But anyway, <laughs> anywho, I'm so excited to read this. I don't know. I'm just, I realized, I thought for a while I didn't like mysteries. And then I realized I adored the boxcar children when I was little. I loved the boxcar children. I loved Nancy Drew. And I kind of just, when I kind of came into adult reading, I completely didn't even think about picking up mystery because I think in my head I really attributed it to the horror and thriller genres. And yeah, I mean, I think I think I can handle thriller to a degree and I think it depends on the context it's in. Um, like I would have zero interest in anything like, like horror, like Stephen King style, like that's not for me, but if it's like thriller and wondering like, um, who did this and what's going on and kind of that I'd be more into it and like the mystery aspect so I'm really excited because these just sound amazing and then for the little little mystery package I'm so excited for this it's the last thing on earth I needed but I really wanted it and it is a new mug 
Um, I love mugs. I have too many mugs, but <laughs> I um, have been wanting a like world map mug for a while, but a lot of the ones I was coming across looked really modern and I wanted more of like an old fashioned looking one. And this is like a, a like an enamel mug. It's, um, I think it's more sturdy, which is always good because I am clumsy. Um, but no, I do have too many mugs and I will need to have a mug clear out when I get my mugs in from Canada. So I've told myself I'm not getting any more and here I have another one in my hands. So that's fine. Um, but I don't know. I just, I really like it. It's a good size as well. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So those are the things that I got for that part of my birthday. I'm going to organize those into my bookcase and be very excited about that. And then um, I think we're just going to be really like tidying and um, just doing really boring house stuff for the rest of the day. So if I don't check in later, I will definitely check in tomorrow. So I will see you guys soon. Monday, March 29th um, in the evening. Today has flown by. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Genuinely, there wasn't really anything worth vlogging. I didn't read. Um, I just, yeah, it was just a day. Um, but we've had the time change in the UK now. And yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. But I am really happy that it is brighter out and for longer and that does make a big impact on my mood. So I'm excited about it. Um, today's been pretty nice. I don't know, like I was going to say the past week, I'm like, no, majority of March has been pretty stressful. Um, there's just been stuff, um, as there is. And uh, today just feels different in a really good way. So I'm optimistic and hopeful. It was nice enough out that um, I barbecued dinner, so had barbecued salmon and had salad, and we got to eat it outside, so it was actually nice enough and not raining. So that just, that, you know, does a great thing <laughs> to the mood. So I'm just curled up now, um, drinking some peppermint tea with my new mug that I'm quite liking because it's like, it's a good, like, it's a cozy mug to hold, so I've I've been enjoying using it. Um, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't read yesterday. So today I've been kind of trying to make up for a lost time. I don't know, my reading at the beginning of March was fine, but pretty much mid-March on, it just really slowed down. And I think I just genuinely, genuinely didn't have the mental energy to take much more than I was in my day-to-day -day in that makes any kind of sense even if it's taking in good things I just I just needed to like turn my brain off um but yeah so <laughs> I am reading The Dutch House by Anne Patchett mainly via audiobook uh so that's been really nice listening to I'm just in chapter six so I'm about between 80 and 90 pages in I would say um I am enjoying it uh, stuff has happened, so I'm interested to see where it will go, but Tom Hanks' narration is fantastic, so I'm really enjoying listening to it on audiobook. I don't think that this is going to be, like, my new favorite ever, but I'm not disliking it at all. It's just kind of like, okay, this is here, and it's, it's a pretty, pretty good book, but I'm not, I'm not in love with it, but it's there, and there's nothing, you know, really wrong with it. And then I am also reading A Net for Small Fishes by Lucy Jago. This one I'm almost halfway, which is pretty good. I think I've read, uh, I've read probably around 60 or 70 pages today, so I'm really happy about that um, because I was a bit frustrated with how slowly I was reading it because it's not slowly paced. You know, it's not slowly paced. There's stuff always happening and always changing. So it's nothing about the book. I think it's just where I, you know, what's going on, where I was. But I, um, I'm really, really liking it. It's exactly the kind of, like, historical fiction I really enjoy. So I'm having a lot of fun with this one. But I'm really curious, like, 
this is a book that really hints that stuff's about to go wrong so I'm like what's gonna go wrong and it's been hinting for a little while now so and like stuff has happened but I'm waiting for like a big grand mess you know and that hasn't happened yet but I don't think we're far off it so I'm really curious I have a couple like ideas of what could happen um so yeah I'm definitely in the mood for like kind of gritty gothic -y historical fiction like I'm in I'm in that place right now and I'm enjoying it because that's how I found some of my best books last year so I'm excited for it um yeah and then I don't know the plan for tomorrow I would like I would love well how long I've I've got about seven hours of listening left to the audiobook. Um, so I could, what, today's the 29th. I could finish it before the end of the month, but that would be, like, I'm not consistently listening to it, so that would probably be pushing it. I would like to finish this one by the end of the month. Out of I'm just sheer curiosity now. I'm like, what's going on? Can we get there? Like, what's happening? So I just kind of want to find out. Um, so I haven't done my March wrap up yet because I don't know if this is a part of it or not. Um, it might not be and if it's not that's fine. Then I will be starting April off with a guaranteed great book. And that's, you know, an awesome way to look at it. But I will wait and I will see, I guess. Anyway, I am going to have a relaxing evening and just, just chill out and it's going to be good. And I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. And I hope you're having a great day so far. Hey guys. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 30th. Not actually anymore. But <laughs> I'm still on the same day. It's like 1am, I think. I was literally just starting to get ready for bed. And realized I hadn't filmed an update yet. So, hello. Um, today was a good day. It was kind of busy just doing stuff around the house, so I made more progress with the Dutch house. Um, I read like a hundred pages of it today on audiobooks, so I'm over halfway through now. I don't know if I'm going to get it done before the end of the month. I'm really curious. I've got three hours or so left to the audiobook, so it is doable, but it just kind of depends on how tomorrow goes. So. I will see, but I am holding off filming my wrap-up until I find out. So I will potentially film my wrap-up tomorrow night or maybe Thursday night. I don't know. Um, but I don't think I'm going to finish Annette for Small Fishes. Uh, it's going really well. I read a few more pages of it today. And I'm really enjoying it, but I don't... I don't want to rush for it, w rush for it, rush through it. I feel like between the two of them, this one has like, I need to pay more attention to this one in a way, um, which is interesting because this one has like, it talks about different timelines and you know, if you blink, like you can miss stuff like easy enough, but it just seems to be on a bit of like a not as dark scale as this one so that's why I think I'm um, potentially going to finish it but I am enjoying it which is really really good Tom Hanks narration is fantastic um, I have been reading along with his narration and just listening to him as well um, and it's good he makes really good differentiations between the characters and everything which is very very nice so yeah no like I said today was just kind of kind of busy um just doing things around the home and now i am very tired i'm migrainey as well so i'm hoping come morning that won't be the case that'd be great um it's just been kind of trying to get me but i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to be doing for my april tbr um i'm just entertained because i had it so planned out for like majority of march and now that April is arriving, I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> um, but I think I more or less have it figured out. So I will be filming my wrap up and I'll probably put my wrap up up for Friday. And then my TBR would more than likely be uh, Sunday or Monday, I'm just guessing. Um, 
so no that'll be a lot of fun and then I can't wait to do my birthday my March haul birthday haul um, that'll be a lot of fun it's just waiting for some stuff to come in I think one of the items is not going to be in on time because I've realized it's going to take a few weeks to be ready to ship and then from then it's going to take a few weeks to come in so I will just have to show it in a vlog um, but it is Narnia themed and I'm so excited for it but in the meantime I am going to rest I hope you guys are having a great week thanks for joining me for this vlog and for hanging out and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week I will see you later stay safe and take care Bye.